Hello, hello! Perfidious Pete here, back for more vomiting than the time you foolishly ate five beef and cheddars from the Arby's 5 for 5 menu in Sheltered. And I'd ask why you would do such a thing to yourself deliberately, but I, I think I know the answer. It's the same reason that Donna and Beeve chose to eat while disgustingly filthy and give themselves toe main. And it, it's just because they're bored. They're bored, and they're filled with ennui, and they're just trying to find a way to make themselves feel something, even if that something is agonizing intestinal pain. Personally, I think they'd be better off just taking a good sharp knife to the inside of their upper thigh, you know, just under the bikini line there where the scars won't show even in the summertime. And you definitely would be better off with the sharp knife thing than with those five beef and cheddars you ate. I mean, definitively. I'm pretty sure the DSM-5 classifies eating five beef and cheddars in a single sitting as a suicide attempt, so, you know, you may want to look out for that. The boys in the white coats might be coming, and necessarily so. If you try to eat five beef and cheddars in a single sitting, you really do need help. That's a desperation cry for help right there. Also, we're going to make Donna go clean the shelter. Yeah, I know you have to poop, Donna, but you know what? Your pooping is going to have to be on hold because you got to clean up your and Beaver's vomit. <sighs> But as for Donna and the Beeve and your beef and cheddar attempts at self-destruction, what else is there for us to do in this apocalypse? Even the adrenaline rush of committing cold-blooded murder has sort of started to fade, really. What else are we going to do? Loot another small farm? It, there's got to be something. We need some damned excitement here in the old shelter, or it's going to be the Cleavers who next sit down in front of a fully loaded five-bullet tray of slow-roasted beef and processed cheese product, looking to devour their way to freedom from this mortal coil. Ah, do I seem salty? If I seem salty, I gotta say, I, I really was interested in shelter at first, but it's kind of getting monotonous at this point. There, there just doesn't seem like... I mean, we're not really doing anything. Scanning radio frequencies didn't reveal any information. What a surprise. There's a whole lot of nothing going on everywhere there. Uh, yes, abandon the expedition. I actually wanted to scan the radio frequencies. Is there something else we can do with this radio? We can look at the map. Don't really need to do that. Shut up, Ricky the Reindeer. Don't make me come out there and murder you just for spite. I know I'm complaining about there being a lack of things to do, but I will murder your ass. That's still on the menu. I hate you, cat, so much. On the plus side, since we fed the cat, I guess we might as well go harvest our plant now. Oh, never mind. Feeding the cat didn't actually take food? Not feeding the cat took food. What did we feed the cat? Did it eat meat? Nope. Also, our meat capacity is at full, and Beaver's stomach capacity is now at nil because he has vomited again. Hey, you know what, Beef? Clean up your own damn mess. You're going to wander around puking. Just be glad I don't make you eat that, Beaver. You're going to puke in your plate. I'm going to make you eat it along with those Brussels sprouts. Ah, Brussels sprouts really are. Maybe that's what Beaver and Donna ate. Maybe they're just like, fuck it. I don't want to live anymore. And they just sat down with a big, nice, steamy heap of Brussels sprouts and just attempted to commit. Some of my plants have died. I beg your pardon? I guess if you don't harvest the plants fast enough, they just croak. I was sort of holding off on harvesting them because we had rations in the pantry and I didn't want to do it yet, but... That appears to have been a terrible idea. All right, I'm not a fan of this. Joyce, what the hell is wrong with you? You have radiation poisoning. Oh, well, I mean, that's fine. Anybody else sick? Other than the food poisoning. You know what? I'm not curing your food poisoning, Beaver. I'm not curing your food poisoning either, Donna. You guys brought that on yourself. You deserve whatever comes your way. In fact, get the mop. You're going to do nothing but mop up vomit until this whole situation has passed. Also, do we have anybody out exploring right now? I don't think we have anybody out exploring, do we? We got, no, and our O2 levels in the shelter are actually plummeting as a result. Somebody needs to leave. Well, let's, uh, okay, fine. Set up an expedition then. We've got plenty of water, so we can afford to send somebody out. Ward Cleaver is probably a bad choice for that job. Wally, you know what, Beeve, if you're going to yak, you might as well do it outside. Just take your brother and get the hell out of my shelter. Beat it. Scram. Ixnay. Adios. See ya. Sayonara. See you later. Get the fuck out of here. Specifically, get the fuck out of here and go visit scrapyards because we really kind of need to investigate the scrapyards for scrap. We're still looking for chunks of the Winnie, which is one of the few things that's still on my list of stuff to do. So you guys might as well go out and make another round about the scrapyard circuit. We're not going to find anything at a hardware store. Small scrapyard, large scrapyard. Is there anywhere else we want to go? I mean, we did do a quest. A man asked us to bring him some stuff. We took him some stuff. 
We got literally nothing out of it. We gave him five gasoline for a bunch of garbage. I kind of feel like we would have been better off if we had just kept the gasoline. Here, let's go wander around in the scalpers area. And, so, I don't know, maybe we'll get scalped. That would at least be something. I'm telling you, Wally and Beaver are in a bad place, man. They're just going to be like, no, nah, i got to hurt myself just to see if I can still feel Pete. I'm basically a uh, Nine Inch Nail song at this point. Gas mask, and why not? We'll... We're in all likelihood going to find replacement gas masks on the way. Once you equip that metal detector, take your large rucksack. Done. Beaver, we'll just give you a tent. And you still are not quite strong enough to wield an axe effectively. So we'll stick with the more garden variety knife for you. You can also take a gas mask and a large rucksack and get the gun from my sight. Adios, Beef. Take your puking ass and take it somewhere else. And that's it. I'm, I've had my fill of you. You and your brother. I'm tired of both of you. How's the recycling plant doing? Six, a meager six minutes and 41 seconds to finish our recycling. Before that happens, by the way, Donna, I'm um, sure you're, you're fine. We have no special. Uh, it, I'm curious what this special is. Just craft another large crate. Where can we stick it? I, honestly, I don't really care at this point. Just wherever it'll fit. Large crates are sort of suboptimal from a space usage standpoint, but at this, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not too worried about optimizing our gameplay at this point. Craft item, sure. Let's make a new room for the shelter because why the hell not? How do we dig down? Scanning radio frequencies did not yield any useful information. When has it yielded useful information? We've spent days and days scanning these frequencies, and we get jack shit out of it pretty much every time. Hey, Chuck. You want to dig a hole for me, buddy? Shut up, Ricky the Reindeer. I swear to God, I will come out there and murder you so hard. I will murder you so hard, Ricky. Holy shit, Francis. You dug that tunnel in no time flat. Place object. Uh, cancel placement? I guess I can't build a room down there until I've built a ladder, maybe? So why is nobody building this? In progress. It doesn't appear to be in progress. Who's supposed to be building this? Someone has fallen down on the job. Resume, Donna, you worthless piece of crap. Chuck, seriously, though. Um, well, first off here, just come do that. Good guy, Francis. You dug that last hole in like 26 seconds. You want to come maybe dig another one? Here, make some cement. We've got plenty of stuff for the making of cement. You might as well go ahead and do it. Charles is over there. Let's have a John Henry style steel driving man contest. Let's see who can build the shelter the fastest. Make more cement. Good work, Donna. I was just thinking that floor needed a little more vomit on it. You're like, you know what this you know what this room is really missing? You know what it's missing? A big heaping wad of vomit. That's what it's missing. It really needs some puke. So, why can't we? So we can't do this because we can't place the ladder, I guess. Fine. Sheltered gonna be uh, sheltered gonna be difficult. All right, good guy Francis here. Come over here. Just dig the hole here. There. Are you happy now, Francis? Wally the Ward Cleaver, we've found another victim. We're gonna harvest his organs. Do you want us to bring you back his liver? That's what you should say at this point. And the answer is yes. Bring me back his liver. We can fry it up with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Not much from where I'm standing. Eh, don't mind me, I'll just be on my way. Oh, please catch Roger and murder him. Hamstring him, boys. Pathetic. You know, I say pathetic, but I think what's really going on, Wally and Beaver, their heart's just not in it anymore. They'll be like, Pete, another murder, really? My belt is all notches at this point. There's no belt left. I've had enough. I don't, I'm, I'm tired of killing Pete. I never thought I would say it. I never thought I would say it, but you know what? It's true, I'm tired of killing. I've had my fill of murder. There's got to be more to this life, Pete, than just ran rampantly slaughtering everyone we see. There's got to be something more in this apocalypse. And to Wally and the Beave, I say, you know what? I, I kind of think like maybe there isn't more, guys. I, I think maybe maybe this is it. Maybe this is all there is. What are you gonna What are you gonna do if this is all there is, guys? What if this is it? What if this is as good as it gets, gentlemen? You know what, Francis, why don't you just stay down in that hole and think about what you've done? Helen, don't think you're getting away from radio duty that easy. Get your ass back over there and start scanning. 
Laura, keep fixing stuff. We're shockingly low on water. Is that because I just used a whole bunch to send Wally and Beeve on a pointless mission? Probably. We wasted a lot of water to do effectively nothing. We could maybe build that moisture. I would like to grab the moisture evaporator, whatever the hell it is. We do have enough pipe for it now. The water condenser, that's what it's called. But I also want to build a rifle sentry trap. I'm not sure why, it just seems really tempting. Ammunition press I don't care about. Laboratory lets us... Man, I don't give a shit about a laboratory. We already have a recycling plant, which I would like to build another recycling plant. I'm not going to lie. This useful device will collect water vapor from the air until... You know what? Sure. How does it work? Oh, we just stick it over here? That doesn't even go outside. I thought that was one of those this thing goes outside things, but turns out, nope, doesn't go outside. Well, I guess we're going to have to keep expanding the old shelter then. We're going to need more room. Fortunately, we've got good guy Francis down here who can just unwittingly dig any tunnel at any time. The guy is, the, he's a mastermind digger. Hey, don't wander around in a radiation suit, Laura. You're going to tear it. I don't want holes in my radiation suit. We need that. Just keep expanding the old shelter there, Francis. What else are we going to do? We might as well just burrow like a gopher. Or a rat, or, you know, uh, also ran puppet in the Caddyshack starring Bill Murray. What the hell are you doing, Laura? Laura is coming down here to build this while still wearing the radiation suit. Okay. Maybe she's just really into the rad suit. She's like, nah, this is my new look, Pete. What do you think? We're out of sand. We're out of limestone. So we're not going to be upgrading the shelter any further. Meh. Who cares? Two minutes and 14 seconds until the recycling plant is finished. Some of my, my plants, I really got to pay more attention to the planter. At this point, I've just become a serial murderer of plants. I'm the Wally Cleaver of plants, really. I don't have much of a green thumb. What's the opposite of a green thumb? A black thumb? Seems like maybe frostbite shouldn't be what you get. Oh, what happened to you? Why is your thumb all black? Man, eh, frostbite. Also, I hate plants. Hey, give me your shit, Martha. Alright. Well, we can't have Beaver attack because he'll just murder, so... Beave melee. We would like to get Beaver's strength up to the point where maybe one of these days he could wield a hatchet of his very own. There you go. Wally, just uh, keep on defending there. Meanwhile, Beaver will just go stab this woman in the... Yep, there you go. Right in the old crotch there. Hey, Beaver, when uh, Wally said you might enjoy stabbing a woman in the crotch, he didn't mean with a knife. He was uh, actually talking about your genitals, Beaver. You might want to... I don't know. You may, maybe want to give that a whirl. You're a young man. We've been in this apocalypse for a long time. I think it's time you learned a little something about the birds and the bees, son. You should sit down with uh, old Ward Cleaver and have a frank and earthy discussion about the nature of relations between man and woman. I think it's time. I think you're old enough, Beaver. There's a gas mask to replace one. I don't want an empty petrol can. I don't give a shit about a carrier bag. Laura, are you going to go put that radiation suit back ever? Just gonna, he's just gonna wear it now. Oh, hey, the shower is broken. It's not broken, but it's not. It's seen better days. Small scrapyard. Yes, please, for the love of God, find me my final. What is it that we need? I don't even remember anymore. A distributor. We have a fan belt. I just don't think we installed it. Speaking of which, Joyce, why don't you grab a suit and go add parts to the vehicle? And in the meantime, Laura, you're just gonna go on a nice round of fix every goddamn thing. Just, just repair. Start repairing. Random repairs. This is what we're doing now. We're just fixing everything. Small scrapyard has some stuff that might be useful. I can't help but notice that none of these things is a distributor cap and therefore is not useful at all, Beaver. None of these are a distributor. I don't need a car battery. I don't need this bat. I don't need any of this crap. I might as well take the limestone and sand because I can at least mix that into cement to maybe make the bunker pointlessly larger. I guess it gives June Cleaver something else to sort of express herself artistically. It does give her more surfaces to cover with paint. It's not all bad, I guess. Fix the toilet while you're at it. And then fix this bed. When you're done with that, fix this bed. And then we'll have Laura wander around and just repair things. The things in this... Uh, I don't know. The, the shelter is just kind of... You're getting kind of tedious. We're just wandering around fixing stuff over and over, but we have massive tools. So fixing it, <laughs> we have massive tools like good guy Francis and Charles. Now, but we have like all of the best tools. So 
We can't even have Wally fight this because it's going to be no fun. He's just going to gutter like a fish. I mean, Beaver's doing a pretty damn good job, and he's nowhere near the fighter that his brother is. Oh, Beaver was disarmed, huh? All right, well, I guess it's time to jump in there, Wally. Wally came up short. Eh. Let's go punch her to death, then. Even with his fist, Beaver still gets the job done. Yep, see, she bled out. Grab this food, this battery, and this chunk of wood. Beaver's closing in on enough strength to wield a hatchet. Soon he'll be just like his big brother Wally, an unstoppable killing machine that leaves us in a situation where nothing in the world poses a threat to us. We haven't even had a good fight in a while. Like, the last good fight we had was the maniac guy who had the... Didn't yield any information. No one is surprised by this. Helen, uh, you know what? We should probably let you sleep or something. You look tired and starving. You're starving. You're tired. Here, Ward, you go do it. June, why don't you replant the plants, I guess. Plant some seeds. Then fix the planter. And also water them when you're done and it's fixed. Make sure you water the plants. Don't just let them die this time. Like we did last time. We just stood there and watched them expire. 22 seconds until our recycling is finished. That's the most exciting part of our day right there. Be like, ooh, the recycling's done. That's how you know we're living a humdrum existence right there. That's, that's how you know. You know what? Take a suit. Let's go upgrade if we can the oxygen thing. We want to upgrade its output. We can just do it. We need more oxygen when everybody's sitting around the shelter doing nothing. We we have a situation where we, we got to kick somebody out because we don't have enough oxygen. We're not actually generating enough oxygen to be fully self-sustaining and becoming self-sustaining is sort of one of my goals. This thing broke. You might as well fix the recycling plant, and then what we'll do is grab the shit out of it. Because our recycling should be done as well. June, hammering away. Is it done? Can I take the recycling now? Yes, take the recycling. So what did we get? Bunch of crap we don't need. Hooray. What do we have that recycles to pipe? We have so much fuel. We have a, just a ludicrous amount of fuel. I don't probably need two buckets. Buckets just recycle the metal, and I need metal even less than I need buckets. We could get rid of some of this wood. Here, do these. These make pipe, right? Yes. Recycle all of this crap. Break it down into pipes. I don't want plastic. My sister gave me her wooden leg. What if we recycle the crowbar? It recycles into just metal? Two metal. 40 metal, 20 nails, 20 pipes, two hinges. Might as well throw these old busted TVs in there as well. Yeah, it'll do. It's fine. We could build a more efficient toilet. These are the kind of things we're striving for now in Sheltered. We need a slightly more efficient toilet. That, that's what we're looking for. Be like, you know, the old toilet isn't quite as good as the new fangled toilet. This one sprays water on your butt when you're done pooping. It's got a built-in bidet. It's the world's greatest invention. I'm not mocking the bidet either, by the way. I think they're a fantastic invention. I wish they were popular in North America. Just send a thing that sent it hasn't caught on. I don't understand why either. Doesn't it seem more primitive to wipe your ass with a handful of dead trees than it does to, you know, have a nice gentle warm spray of water gently cleanse your rectum? That's all I'm saying. It seems like the spray of water is the better method for the anus cleaning. For one thing, it doesn't require you to touch your poo crusted anus. I don't know. It seems like the rest of the world is maybe just ahead of the curve on the whole bidet thing. A lot of loitering around going on upstairs. Does anything really, like, need repairs? We could go do some fruitless repairs, I guess. Here, somebody go fix the freezer. That'll be fun. An exciting day of freezer repair. We actually have meat in this freezer that we never eat. They always eat this food instead of the... You'd think they'd go for the frozen meat. Although some of that meat's been in the freezer so long, by this point it's probably horribly freezer burned. Maybe that's why they're avoiding it. They'll be like... You know, as a last-ditch effort, Pete, we'll go for that meat, but uh, there's a lot of freezer burn damage on that, and the stuff starts to taste a little bit like baking soda because it's been in there so long. The the beef, or venison in this case, it tastes a lot like Arm & Hammer, and it's just not very good, man. I'd rather just eat baking soda with a spoon. Didn't, uh, still didn't yield anything, huh? No. Back to scanning then, Ward. The radio must be manned at all times, because there's literally nothing else for anyone in this shelter to do. 
Medium house has some stuff that's going to be useful. I am honestly dubious, Beeb. I don't think it's going to be useful at all, but you may as well take the junk. There you go. We'll just randomly take things. Did we build a jukebox yet? Nope. What are we missing? We still need one battery to build the jukebox, huh? All right. What do we need to build this? Um, we have everything we would need now because the... Why does a solar panel take batteries? Call me crazy, but that seems a little suspicious. A little suspicious there. Did we ever build a bookshelf? I don't think we did. Here, let's do that. We can spruce the place up with reading and books. Lord knows we have plenty of nails and wood. Here, go put it over there by the moisture evaporator. Stumbled across something. We're also turned into Uncle Owen and Aunt Veru now in that we have our very own moisture evaporator. Finally, a foe that may present a challenge for Wally Cleaver? Nope. Halfway killed it with a single shot. Beaver may be able to finish him off here if he gets a little lucky. And Bear never even get, didn't even stand a chance. The dynamic duo of Wally and the Beav, they, they butchered him. Literally, in this case, they literally butchered him. I guess it's bear steaks for dinner, or I, you know what? We're probably just going to wind up feeding most of that bear meat to the vultures because we don't even have a place to store it. We've got too much meat in our freezer already. We already have more meat than we can store. What do you want, buddy? Help, I'm being chased by, by something. Let me in, please. I need somewhere. You know what? Sure, buddy. <laughs> Maybe you've got some like comedy skills or something you can do to help us here in the shelter be a little less depressed, bored, and unenthused. Worst case scenario, you could feed the cat and shut it up so that I don't murder it. See, Betty's already proven herself useful. She fed a hungry cat. Fantastic addition to the shelter, Betty. I'm glad you're part of the team. And with you being on board, I'm going to wrap this one up. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Of course, your support does really mean a lot. If you'd like to see more sheltered, well, you may be in for disappointment because at this rate, I'm not sure how much longer we're going to run. There are still a couple things I would like to do. Specifically, I really want to fix up the Winnebago. But I got to say, sheltered is not really, there's no challenge anymore. I feel like we've sort of gotten over the hump. It kind of feels like the Cleaver family has taken over Westeros and is going to rule safely from atop the Iron Throne. They have beaten the Game of Thrones. The game is over and the Cleavers won. Cruelly sharp are the greatest words of all time for any house. Ah, <sighs> this medium house. You're a mighty house, Beaver. You're not a medium house. House Cleaver is not a medium house. They're a great house, without a doubt. One of the greatest of all time. They're the Muhammad Ali of houses. They're the greatest. <sighs> I'm just babbling. All right, this one's done. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.